He was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. 39 yards on the punt, just two on the return. And the Broncos take over, first down and 10. And Denver getting set to take the field. Good drive last time, really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. One of the things you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. On second down, here's the option. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. And the Bengals grab it. Look at the big man rumble. And this is taken into the end zone. A fumble recovery and a Cincinnati touchdown. And Charles, look at the big fella. What a rumble that was. Not only to scoop it, but then take it the rest of the way for the touchdown. And now you know they're going to have to hear about it from now on. The defensive backs, he's going to want to run with them, do their drills, the whole deal. He thinks he's the pace setter now. It doesn't matter what happens in practice this week. He's smiling. And McPherson on for the extra point. And that'll increase their lead to 28. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. And the football going back over to the Denver Broncos. But we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. Here is third down and four. Here's Wilson to throw. A tough throw there across his body. It's incomplete. Here's Riley Dixon now as he's on to punt for Denver. On oh, the return is Jones. A nice return that time of about 14 yards. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Now this Bengals offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series. But what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. Second and 10 now, third quarter action in Denver. Now it's Burrow. Oh, the turnover fest continues. Here's another interception. Picked off by Pat Sertan. Well, to be blunt, not a whole lot has gone right for this defense in this ball game, but that's something right there still in the third quarter. It would take something around miracle territory for a comeback, but maybe that's a start, Charles. It certainly is, and they're definitely showing that there's some fight still left in them. 
Hasn't been a banner day, but they're trying their best to put that disappointment behind them and find ways to make plays. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. And every game that's ever been played, <laughs> all coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers. And in this one, after we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball. And it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. To throw is Wilson. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. They get to him for a loss of four, and it brings up third down on the sack. So if we recount real quick, he had the touchdown earlier, and now he comes up with the sack here. No doubt about it, he's having himself a game. They'll come up facing third and five. Throwing is Wilson. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. No surprise to see a sideline fired up by that big play. Heck, we're fired up, and we're supposed to be neutral. That's a quarterback putting his body on the line to fight and just barely get the first down. When he does something like that, it gets everyone ready to lay it all out there and try and match his intensity. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Here's Wilson. Over the middle, complete to Judy. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And it's second down. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. Now Wilson running left on the option. Now the ball comes loose, and the Bengals grab it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. He had the option there, decided to keep it, exposed himself and fumbled it. Yeah, and you worry about the hits he's going to take in that situation. In this case, not only does he take the hit, he coughs the ball up, as you noted. Cincinnati's offense coming back here onto the field. They'll take over after that pretty clutch force fumble as they begin inside their own five-yard line. On first down, they'll start out with Evans. And he'll find a little space. He gets this up near the 10. On the tackle, it's Randy Gregory. I think they're ahead of schedule now after that run. They might be bold with this second down call after that type of a game. Evans gets it again on second down. And a short pickup here as he'll get across the 10 to the 11-yard line. Here's third and three. Burrow will throw. And he is caught. There he goes left side across midfield. And he gets this one down to the 24. A big play there on the catch and run. 65 yards. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On first and ten, it's Evans. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. 44 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. This is a very impressive drive, especially when you consider where they started from to now be set up first and goal. Yeah, it's a nice running right there. That's what got him the first down. But at this point, I suggest open up your playbook. You can call just about what you want. 
Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Evans. And he is in. Touchdown, Bengals. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Bengals are closing in on a third straight victory to start the campaign. What a game it's been for him in the backfield, Charles, as he pounds it into the end zone yet again. Yeah, and he hits the end zone one more time, and his blockers cleared all those lanes. Before the snap, they called for the heavy unit, right? Three tight ends coming on the field, and they got the job done clearing the way. McPherson on for the point after. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Five plays there on that drive. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. This taken in right around the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. The Broncos offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. It hasn't been the cleanest game for him, but there was a side of improvement as he looks towards the next one. Nice bit of scrambling to move the sticks, and even more importantly, he didn't risk adding another interception to his ledger. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. On second down, Wilson. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right in midfield at the 50. The rushing numbers for Wilson may be down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. There he goes, and for good reason. Running with it has paid dividends earlier in this game and earlier on this drive. And until they prove they can stop him, I don't think he's going to be shy about continuing to run for first downs instead of airing it out. From midfield now, here's Wilson. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Operating from the gun, Wilson. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Back to throw, Wilson. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 32-yard line. Well, I mean, look, obviously there's no 20 or 30-point play in that playbook, but they can try to end things here on a positive note despite trailing big, and that looks like what they're trying to do here by pushing the ball downfield. Well, let me go with the heavy cliche then, partner. Just control what you can control right now, and all they can control here is how their final plays develop. On first down, Wilson. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Again, Wilson. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. It'll be a loss of only a couple on the sack, but now it'll bring up third down. He's certainly one of those quarterbacks that can burn you with his mobility, but that time able to hem him in and get him to the ground. Perfect descriptor right there about how they kept him in the pocket. Excellent job of containment. 
but they were still able to continue to bring such strong pressure without letting him escape. But how about those guys in the secondary as well? Kept the coverage tight, plastered to the receivers, and left no real options for him to throw it downfield. On third down, Wilson. Short throw caught by Dulcich. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. It'll be a gain of five, and that's going to make it fourth down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. So the drive will continue after the conversion on fourth. They'll work from the 20 on first down. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. It'll only be a loss of a couple, but the pressure gets home on first down. Oh, you can just see it in their body language. They're starting to see victory on the horizon now. And if it comes to fruition, they got to give a game ball to the front seven. Defensive line has taken charge and controlled this game. Face the challenge of stopping this opposing offense, and they've done so with ease. A small bit of adversity here on what's been a strong drive as they come up second and 12. Now it's Wilson. Throw to the right, caught by Dulcich. So the completion results there in nine yards. And now it's third and three. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. Well, he's had success running the football in this one, and that's undeniable. But that time, the defense was on to it. And, partner, I think the more you see a play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to defend it. I think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. And Wilson's going to be intercepted a third time. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six for a Bengals TD. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead, and it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them, play it straight, do all the right things. But these guys are going to be freewheeling now. All of them are going to take chances, and that one pays off with an INT and a return for six. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Denver's offense now set to go. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. Wilson and the Broncos now with a first and 10 at their own 24. Throwing after the interception. Wilson to the right side and complete to Washington. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 
On first and ten, it's Wilson. Over the middle, it's complete. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Now it's Wilson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Broncos first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Well, they go with a former Bengal facing his old mates. It's Samaj P. Ryan. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Wilson. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. They'll tell the statistician to add another one to their impressive total today. Great week for the defensive front. A tough one for that offensive line. Quarterback getting right back behind that line, hoping for more time to attempt a likely third down pass. It's third and long now for Wilson and the Broncos after that sack. Looking to throw. Wilson, short pass to the tight end, Hollister. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Here's Riley Dixon now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. T. Higgins out on offense with the rest of his teammates for this next drive. He's been a load for them to handle defensively. I know that much. Well, look at him. He's got seven catches on the game, and he's starting to shred them a little bit because not only is he catching them, he's picking up good yardage, keeping the chains moving, ball control, you name it. This big guy, what did you say? He's been a load for them to handle? That's right. He's Agreed. A, a seven catches, as you said, over 100 yards. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. A give up the middle to Evans. And he rolls across the 20 to the 24-yard line. Second and 12. Off the play fake, here's Burrow. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Well, at this juncture, CD, you normally see teams pack in the passing game. They've got the huge lead. Not them, though. They're still taking their shots. I remember reading in past history, there was a college football coach in the Hall of Fame whose nickname was Close the Gates of Mercy. But he wasn't really big on that. He was big on going ahead and scoring. He's got to reincarnate it right here. We're watching it in front of us. So that'll go as a four-yard loss on the play. And it'll be fourth down. No surprise they decided to throw on third down. A little bit of a surprise that they completed the pass and lost yardage on the play. The Bengals bring out their punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. So possession goes over here on the punt, and out will come the offense as they take over. So the Broncos coming out now. Even though they were able to force the punt defensively, still a big hole to climb out of, especially at this late stage of the contest. Now Wilson on first down. He'll find a man over the middle. It's Washington. And 
this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nice. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six for a Bengals TD. Well, what has been a fantastic game for this defense has been rough for this offense and certainly a signal caller, Charles, that's thrown all these interceptions. Another one there, and this one taken all the way back for the score. Partner hoping to hold a nice little spot in the postgame highlights to show this rip of interceptions and great plays this group has made. They've been on it from snap one. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Denver's offense ready to go again. Remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go-around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Second and 10 now, Wilson. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. Now third down and seven. Back to throw. Wilson able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have the Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, a touchdown here on this drive, it, it wouldn't really put much of a dent in the score, the deficit right now, but as you mentioned in the past, CD, their coach is probably just hoping to see something executed correctly on this drive before we close out the ball game. Yeah, and I think that every guy who's on the field has to feel exactly the same way because if not, they might be looking for replacements. Treat every drive as if it's your last and make it a successful one in some small way. And smartly going into the slide there. Wilson has enough for the first. So it's Bronco football as we get your reset here. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Here's Wilson. This ball tipped, and it's going to be incomplete. Fortunate maybe to get that back. It's third down. Now Wilson. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Now they got to get to the line quickly. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. And his throw's going to be incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Looking to throw, Wilson. And that will be incomplete as well. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. Well, in the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been outplayed all game long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, son. Make yourself respectable. And that's what they're doing here. They're just dressing up the final score. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. 
They're looking at a third straight win here if they can hold on. They'll begin on the ground with Evans. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 73 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. And he's got it across midfield and into Denver territory. Well, fans usually love to see scoring, and there was no shortage of it today. What a dominant showing from an offense that was truly playing at an elite level in this contest. Partner, this game was over a long time ago, and you noticed? They did not want to slow down anything. Absolutely a dream scenario for everyone on that offense, and they took advantage of every second. Guaranteed popcorn for everyone in their film session. So for the Bengals, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season, and they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Broncos, they'll fall to one and two, and they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.